how much do these people make per month is healthcare job worth it is it stressful some persons imagine how much do carers make for those of you that don't know i'm a uk healthcare assistant and in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys a pay slip of a care home and the second pay slip is for domiciliary carers so if this looks like what you're going to be interested in then sit tight watch from the beginning to the end to know if it's worth it or not hi beautiful people welcome back again to my youtube channel if today is your first time here my name is stella if you have not subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for do not forget to do the needful like subscribe and share my videos click on that notification bell to get notified whenever i post any new video and for my returning subscribers you guys are the real g thank you guys for coming back to watch my videos so today's video from the title the pace for Kara. so last year yeah last year i remember making a video on that so mind you last year when i made that video there was no much healthcare job with sponsorship healthcare job with sponsorship they added healthcare job with visa sponsorship last year february and when i made that video was i can't remember when anyways but it, but it was last year when they were really short of carers and in that video i remember telling you guys that we were hot cake people like us were hot cake like like sometimes agents will beg you please uh Stella, can you cover up a shift here i'll be like mm -mm, i cannot go there super the agency will send a tax or the agency themselves they'll come to the house and pick me and now if you're going there you'll be telling them no you're going to pay me 15 pound you're going to pay me 16 pound trust me that is what we do then because if you don't pay i'll say i'm not going and if i don't go they don't have much carers mind you as at that time there was nothing like for studies visa that means as soon as you finish studying after two three months you go back to your country so there were not much people like now that if you finish studying even if you don't get sponsorship you can stay with two years for study visa so now um, there are a lot of carers i'm not even gonna lie mm. so at that time they are really short of carers as at that time when i made that video i shared for agency and the care home and in that video i was explaining how my friend made around how my friend made around 500 pound in one day so many people say i was lying like i don't know how you guys should think i will be lying why will i go myself to get a pay slip in that video the guy made almost 500 pound in a day yes i think it was on christmas day i can't remember when but i don't know if it was on christmas day he went for that shift even me personally i was so tempted to go <laughs> even me personally i was tempted to work for that agency but i did not do that because where this agency sent this person is very very far when i mean it's very very far they can send you from if you live in Huddersfield, they can send you somewhere like somewhere somewhere in like <laughs> very fast that would take you like two to three hours to get there and me i don't think i have that strength this one are for men that are very very strong you know but at least if you go there in one day you know that you make a good sum of money as at that time guys yeah and i explained that video how this person made this money some person were thinking i was lying like how will i be lying will i go i don't will i go online and construct a pay slip or ah some of you eh it's not everything that is lie some of you find it difficult to believe things because you guys don't even know what is happening and if you don't know what is happening don't assume that everything is lie anyways in today's video i'm going to be sharing a care home and a domiciliary care um pay slip if you're working in a care home it has advantages and disadvantages and if you're working as a domiciliary carer some person don't like to be a domiciliary carer and i had to make my research for those of you that don't know i'm a UK healthcare assistant and honestly i've never done a dumb job like house by house so i don't even know what it's like so but i just like to ask questions when i ask questions i know a few person i have a friend that also do that and she said that's the best job ever she said she prefers that job that she tell her i can never work in a care home so like i can never be a support worker i prefer my dumb <laughs> that is what she'll tell you and i was making research why are so many persons saying that they don't like this dumb job you know and i had to start asking questions so at least from the few persons i asked 80 percent don't like it's just 20 percent that'll be like ah me i like this job but i don't think i'll stop dumb i don't think i want to work in a care home do you get so 80 percent don't like the job so and i found out that the reason they don't like the job is the fact that some person say if they leave the house eight o'clock come back ten o'clock that if you check the hours that means you work around 14 hours isn't it but at the end of the day they'll pay you for nine or eight hours no how many hours i think because there's a way they calculated it i can't remember but let me just use an example if you leave your house eight o'clock in the morning you come back ten o'clock that means if your shift starts from 8 to 10 14 hours what you're going to get paid is for eight hours either eight hours or nine hours i was like ah how manage why so there are lots of things involved in a domiciliary care job because for example if you assign a five home in a day so i had that they will have to go to that house in the morning then you go to the house take care of this a b c d e 
Then after that, you go back. And at that period where you're driving, I was told you don't get paid for. Except if you have a car, they only pay you for your fuel. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? And as after going to that house, there's time in between is break, in between is this and that. And all of that minutes, you're on the road or if you, or sometimes they'll go out to eat and all of that. You don't get paid for all of that. So that is why sometimes if their ship start or be, if they are called, because they call it on call, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So if the call start from eight o'clock to 10 o'clock, they end up getting eight hours, nine hours. So now the other persons or the other people that like the job, the 20% of people that like this job, I realized that they are all parents. So they've got kids. So now I found out that the reason why they like this job is because that period after, you know, their morning call, they go back home, do one or two things, clean, cook, do all of that. And they go for afternoon call. After the afternoon call, they go pick them children. They go pick their kids from school and bring them to the house you get so that is when i realized that okay this is the reason why you guys say you cannot leave the domiciliary care job and now if they finish the um they bring in their kid back to school finish school run and all of them mind you as a dumb you need to have a car now some persons don't have a car but this set of people that say all this they have their own car so they do the driving themselves and do all of that so they make the work in a way that it fit into their routine, to their work, to their kids. Like it fit in the family. I don't know how to explain the family routine. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? So that is why the 20% like this job. So when they drop their kids in the morning to school, they start their job. Before the evening call, they go back home to their kids and still go back to evening call. I don't know if you understand what I'm trying to say. So they say they prefer the ball. If you're working in a care home, you cannot do all of that. You cannot, during break, you're in that home, you eat and stay there and chill. If your break is 30 minutes, if your break is one hour, you stay in that home. Why if you're a domiciliary carer, you can, I don't know, you can just go around. So they use the opportunity to go back home, do what they need to do for the day and all of that. So that is why they like this job. But if you're just a single person, you don't have kids, or if you're just a young boy doing dumb, you just don't like it because that period, that hours, you're going for a break, you're doing this one, you're dry, it's just getting you angry because you don't get paid for it. So you get paid less for spending your whole day outside. I don't know if you understand what I'm trying to say. There was a time I was like, I want to try this job. But honestly, <laughs> I don't think I'm going to try it because... I mean, I don't even have that time anymore. So for me personally, I work three times in a week and I work full hours. So I work full hours. That means I work 12 hours. And these 12 hours, as soon as I do three times in a week, I've already done 37 hours, which I am okay with. There's some persons that don't like working full shift. But for me, I don't like the half half day shift. So a person prefers to go to work 8 o'clock and come back 2 o'clock or 3 o'clock. Me personally, I don't like it. I like to work full shift, especially as a parent, so that I will have more time to spend with my kids. Because all this half half day, I don't know, I just get tired of it. So for me personally, now that I've got kids, I prefer to go night. So I do three night shift and the rest of my week, I spend it at home. Yeah. And, and if you plan to come to the care healthcare okay, assistant, I know there's so many questions you ask yourself, like, ah, this job, is it worth it? How much is house rent? I remember somebody asking me questions, Stella, please, if I collect this job with sponsorship, how much will I be paying house rent? How much will I be? I ask this person, please, I have so many things. Don't be asking me this one, asking that one. Like, it's just a lot. Sometimes, check on YouTube, how much do people spend on house rent? How much do people spend on, like, I know it's a lot. So, in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys yeah, pay sleep. Now, on the other side, this person I'm talking about, I'm going to show you guys his pay sleep. And this person said, the care home are short of staff. I was like, in this 2023, care home short of staff. When lots of persons are complaining that they are not getting jobs. Mm, yeah, there are still some care homes that are still short of staff. Trust me on that one. Yeah. So, I'm going to be sharing with you guys his pay sleep. Now, what I'm sharing with you guys is that some persons are complaining like, this care job is rubbish. It is rubbish somehow, shall. But at the end of the day, it depends on how you manage your money. If you don't manage your money very well, you're not going to make it any couple. You're not going to save any dime. Do you get? If you're married couple, it depends. One person might be a carer and the second person might look for other high paid job. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. But even if both of you are carers, it's still okay. You guys can still survive. It depends on how much you guys work in a month or how much you guys get paid every month do you understand so two percent can be making one five one five in a month in a month your household have three thousand pounds three thousand pounds if the both of you calculate subtract and manage yourself i think three thousand pounds you should be able to save if you spend any hard there's no way you're going to save that is why i say at the end of the day it depends on how you spend their money so anyways i'm going to be showing you guys what this person's pay sleep looks like for you guys to tell me what do you guys think so this is what this person gets per month like i said this person said they are short of staff and they have been struggling in that 
place of war because there are no carers. So this is what he makes. So this is what the person makes every month for now. So this is what this person's space sleep looks like. And you can see the date. It was 24th of March. Like I said, this person is sponsored. And he started working with this organization this year. And by the side, you see the tax code. Now, tax code is very important. If you're working with different organizations, like, I mean, different companies, your tax code will be different. They assume that you're making too much money. So with this particular person, he's working with this care home only. So that is why you can see he was not taxed. And the reason why he was not taxed is because even if he was taxed, by April, they would have given him his tax refund. Now, the reason why they'll give him is his tax refund is that in a year, if you did not make more than £12,000, they assume that you fall under low income earners and this particular person like i said started this year 2023 and obviously he worked for just few months so that is why he was not taxed so i'm sure from this april i be from this month of um may he will be taxed so that was why he was not taxed and you can see his national insurance was 116 pound his pension now sometimes pension is kind of choice some people will be like oh no i'm not interested in their pension scheme whatever please do not please do not deduct any pension payments and you can see the national insurance and tax like i said the person was not taxed and the total net pay now before the total net pay by the left you're going to see how much this person was paid per hour it was 10 pound one pence that was what they get paid per hour and mind you this year i mean this from this april i'm sure the payment will increase because minimum wage has increased and just imagine those people that have been paying 13 pound 14 pound how much they make per hour anyways fast forward the total payment for this person the next pay take home is 1759 pound 92 pence approximately 1700 pound and 60 i mean 1760 pound that is the person's net pay take home and by the left hand you're going to see how much this person made before all of the tax. the total payment was 1934 pound approximately 2000 pound so this person make 2000 pound per month but after all the tax and whatever this is what he makes and i'm sure after this uh april the person will get taxed more you know why because if you check this person was not taxed based on say the person came in this year so there was no like um normal tax it was just national insurance that was deducted so from this uh, month this person will start getting deducted um tax national insurance and pension so i'm sure this person take home will not be up to 1759 pound per month and mind you this person said they are shut up staff that is the reason why he or she abby got this payment so leave me a comment what you guys think about this care job so this person said most of the time they do 50 hours in a week and huh, 50 hours in a week is not easy i'm not gonna lie so imagine you working five times in a week monday to friday when i mean monday to friday i mean full shift to like 12 12 12 12 12 12 how many hours then this person work like 60 hours in a week because this person was like oh i do like full shift five times in a week and five times in a week is 12 hours 12 hours so that means it's even more than 50 hours Ah, this person works, I mean, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 plus 2 hours. That means this person works 60 hours in a week. Can you do that? <laughs> do you have the strength? Are you strong enough? Okay. If you're not strong enough, do what you can do. Please don't kill yourself in this care job. I think it required hours to do as a UK healthcare assistant. On sponsorship, I think it's 40 hours. Yeah. I think it's 40 hours and 40 hours like you working four times in a week or less that's if you're doing full shift if you're doing 12 12 hours it should be less than four times in a week so yeah or like i said this particular person was complaining that they are short of staff so if you see anybody saying care home recruiting with spiritual sponsorship try and apply i have talked about this care home but the reason why i cannot talk about this care home is because this person said please don't mention the home because anything can happen and that is why i'm not going to mention this particular home in this video so yes you can see what this person making a month so if you're working as a healthcare assistant it depends on how hard working you are if you're hard working i believe you should be able to make more money but it's just so sad that some organizations don't have enough job they don't have enough you know um shifts to let people work because there are some people that are willing to work there are some people that are very strong why, why there are some people that don't have the strength for you so now fast forward to dumb so now this is what this person make as a domiciliary carer in a week okay some days 
this person too is complaining, you know, the person is not happy to become a domiciliary carer because this person was complaining that sometimes they go work, you know, the whole day and at the end of the day, they'll, and at the end of the day, they'll be like, ah, we're paid, how many hours we pay, blah, blah, blah. It's just so annoying. The person is not happy with this job, but mm, I need to share with you guys the pay slip. So this pay slip I share with you guys does not necessarily mean that is what all healthcare assistants in the UK in. Mm -mm, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Like I said, there's some person that complain that they are not even getting any shift. So these ones are those people that are even getting the shift, what they make. And why I'm sharing this video are based on, you know, people saying, is this healthcare job? Do people even make money at all from it? So I am just trying to show you guys what some persons are making in this job. And before this sponsorship, I'm not going to lie. Some persons are making good money. I know people that are making £2,000 every month. I know people that are making £2,005 every month. Yes, there are people who make that money. And at the end of the day, it's your strength, isn't it? If you don't have the strength, I mean, please, just do what you can do and rest. We cannot kill ourselves in this job. It's not worth it. Mm -mm. So anyway, this is what this person is making per month. I have to close all the necessary information because, I mean, for some reasons, I don't have to show it. And you can see what this person's tax income, national insurance, carriage, and total deduction is £30. So, so the spirit of why this person was deducted like this, like I said, there's the amount of money you get tax for and most of this person just came into the uk in january so if you enter the uk in january there's possibility you will not get taxed so by the right hand corner you can notice the income tax is zero 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 so like i said people that came in this year there was no point of you know deducting insurance because they will still get tax refund and if you have been deducted make sure you get your tax refund from your employer anyways first of all this person next pay is 280 pound 24 pence approximately 285 pound this is what this person is making in a week i'm not gonna lie this is one of those people that are complaining that i'm not happy with this job that what she is getting is not what she expected so this particular person is a dumb carer and she's not happy with her job at the moment hopefully maybe in the future she's going to be okay but for now is a no she's not happy with it and you can see everything you need to know about even the tax code this person is working for just this agency so it's not as if she's working for so many persons that you'll be like, okay, she's been deducted from this one and that one. She's working for just one agency. So this is what it's like. Honestly speaking, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. And you can see the pay rates per hour. Pay rates for this particular care agency is £10 per hour. Like I said, I'm sure the payment is going to increase. I mean, the payment per hour is going to increase after April. I'm sure it has increased now and you can see how many hours this person work was 31.5 hours and this person said imagine you working for 40 hours or for something hours and you still get paid for 31 hours that uh, honestly the job is stressing her out so if you're a domestic carer what do you guys think about this job leave it on the comment section do you think it's worth it just leave it on the comment section i'm sure some persons will go through it and learn one or two things from it so yeah this is the person's take home is 284 pound 24 pence approximately 285 pound this is what this person is making every week for now so maybe the person might make more or lesser i don't know so yeah this is just it and yeah this is what this person is making so you can see that some persons are making good money and some persons are not making enough money that is just the truth so at the end of the day it does depend on the person that is sponsoring you if you have a good agency you should be able to make good money but if you don't honestly it's going to be difficult so imagine you paying for rent water bill and all of that it's going to be difficult but if you're coming in as a couple i believe it's going to help a lot because if one person is sponsored the other person will get a better job that is going to help and support the home so yeah Okay, job. This is what some persons make in a week. You guys leave me a comment on your thoughts on this. Do you think it's worth becoming a carer in this year, 2023? Is it worth it? And if you want to watch the one I made last year, 2022, I will leave the link on the description below. And also, if you're watching this, do you prefer the dog? Or do you prefer a proper care home or do you prefer agency where you work you know agency send you everywhere what they send you everywhere so persons don't even like to be a permanent staff in a particular home they'll be like ah i don't have the strength to become a permanent staff because they still advantage permanent staff the day they put you on shift you have to cover up your shift if they say you're working on sunday 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 you have to be working that sunday except when you get tired you can meet your manager say manager please i go to church every sunday you're putting me every Sunday, Sunday. I need to go to church. And the manager will consider and start, you know, mixing up your shoes. But if not, 
you don't have a choice to work on that Sunday. I'm saying this because most people who come on sponsorship, they like sometimes they really don't have choice. Do you understand? Because as soon as you start complaining, they'll be like, you said you're available 24 seven. So you should be able to cover up any ship they give to you. Do you understand? But if the manager is understandable, you should be able to understand that, okay, this person needs to go to church. That is why he cannot do Sunday. So yeah. That is it. And if you're watching this, do you like the dumb slide care job? If yes, leave it on the comment section. Well, with this, we've come to the end of today's video. If you find this video informative, do not forget again to do the needful like, subscribe, and share. Leave me your comment on what kind of video you want me to make, and I will definitely get back to you guys. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.